I came at a bad time. No, no. I think you couldn't have timed it better. 234715 system time. Very punctual, Kafka. Mm, Elio always tells the exact future. So what's with the explosion just now? Was that also part of his script? Uh-huh. 234459 system time. The pulses from the explosion cause a massive breakdown from the master control system. You did that? No. The Antimatter Legion did it. They completely invaded the space station two system hours ago. Alright. So do we need to fight the Legion? I don't know. Elio didn't say anything about it, so it doesn't matter. Got it. So from now on, I'll be in charge of this operation. Copy. Can you let me have some fun this time? Our last few operations turned out to be pretty dull. Sorry, I'm afraid there is not much I can do for you. Our task this time is just to place the target properly. But if you want to go look for some fun yourself, I won't stop you. I mean, after all. <laughs> After all, Elio didn't put it in the script. Why would it matter? When did the Antimatter Legion become so weak? I could only attract this much. Did you really want the entire Legion to come here? Oh, this lot won't be able to slow down the Astral Express crew. Relax. A Doomsday Beast is also here. Other people's mess is even my job description. You know, Kafka? <sighs> yeah, yeah. Where did you send it, Silverwolf? Some random coordinates. Mm, not important. You care about where that Void Ranger ended up? Of course not. I'm just amazed at this fancy technique of yours, as usual. Just a little trick of tampering with the data of reality. I wouldn't call it fancy. What were you looking at so intently just now? Let me see. Herta's Toys. A catalog featuring the space station's collection of rare items. They've got a lot of interesting gadgets. Like what? There's this gun. It can rate any creature within its crosshair as a score from 0 to 100. Doesn't sound very interesting. Aren't you curious about how much you would score? I kind of want to know mine. Fine. I guess we can swing by and play with it if it's not too far. What's our destination? Go down the corridor behind the door on the left. There's a room where some kind of rare item is stored. And so that's where the Stellaron is. That's where we can find out where the Stellaron is. Hold it. Someone or something is up ahead. Looks like we're the ones getting ambushed. But they're the ones getting besieged. Not a single soul here. Impressive evacuation work. Did Herda organize it herself? According to the access history, she hasn't logged in here for over six months. The evacuation was directed by the acting lead researcher, a girl named Asta. It doesn't ring a bell. Oh, right. Elio said we wouldn't run into her to... It seems she really isn't here. Where's the Stellaron? Elio's script doesn't include any info about the location of the Stellaron, which means in the future he foresees... We would find the Stellaron in a non-physical way. This space station is packed with extraordinary objects. I wouldn't be surprised if there's one that can make it happen. Well, hiding something extraordinary with something extraordinary. This is pretty Herta. 
I assume you know what to do. I mean, you've read the catalog for quite a while. I've got all the clues we need. The only piece missing is a simple trick. Help me investigate the terminal in this room. Our item might be inside. Okay, the stage is yours. So, got a master plan? I'm all ears. It's a matter of hacking the surveillance system directly. Aha, uh -huh, I see. Hurtus collections aren't in the system, so anything unaffected should be our target. Simple, crude, but effective. Look, found it. Hmm, huh. what's this? Item number 211, Line Spot. A simple light deflecting field. It allows an object in its field to pass unnoticed, but if a different item ceases to be obvious, the object gets revealed. So, Herta hides her collection with something as simple as this? The simplest method is the hardest to spot. Isn't that our motto? Strange thing number two. The data suggests it's just an ordinary hologram, but it has an added layer. Let's take a look. Don't worry, this place won't be our grave. Interesting. She's a member of the Genius Society, all right. The Stellaron is up ahead. Let's hurry. <sighs> it has its own security system. I guess even for Herta, Stellaron is no ordinary rarity. Can you get it? Of course. Even the genius Herta can't compete with me when it comes to hacking. Good. Then I'll also count on you with the preparation of the receptacle. The receptacle's ready. Your decision. <laughs> There we go. How much does she remember? Hmm. I'll remember you. Time to get up. Remember me. <sighs> Listen, you are in a daze right now. You don't know who you are, why you're here, or what you're going to do next. You think I look familiar, but you're not sure if you should trust me. None of that matters. All you need to know is that I'm leaving, and you will be left all alone on this space station. From now on, you needn't think about your past or doubt yourself. Listen, in the near future, you will encounter all kinds of perils and hardships, but you will also have many wonderful experiences. You'll meet companions who will treat you like family and embark on surreal adventures with them. At the end of your journey, all that perplexes you and troubles you will resolve. This is your future that Elio has foreseen. Do you like it? The next stop to pave the way for the future that is written. It's like weaving brocade. You and I can only add one gold thread each time, but eventually we will make a gorgeous pattern. How long do you think you need? According to the script, the Astral Express crew is arriving soon. We should avoid being seen by them. I know, Silverwolf. Just give me another minute. I must leave now. Don't worry, someone will come and find you very soon. Just go with them. You won't remember a thing except me. When you have a chance to make a choice, Make one that you know you won't regret. But during the repair process, I discovered some anomalies. 
The access records show that a third party other than the Legion invaded while the master control system was paralyzed. I don't know who or what it was. Actually, I'm investigating that right now. We suspect that it may have been the Stellaron Hunters. It's an elusive group and very dangerous. Every member is on the IPC's wanted list. They include a super hacker from Punk Lord. I'm ashamed to admit that I've lost to her once before. A while ago, I discovered her whereabouts during a screening process. I was planning to follow the clues to find more details about her, but I fell into her trap. Can you guess what happened next? She reverse hacked my device, sent out a bunch of spam, made a video game open to the space station, and told everyone that an idiot named Leonard made a big silly mistake. Wait a second. Uh, let me take a look. Oh, I see. This is electronic graffiti that appears to represent Punk Lordian symbols. If I'm not mistaken, this should be some kind of automatic encryption. That, that scared me to death. Did you see that? It seemed like something popped up here, then Void Rangers jumped out. But look, just like I guessed, this graffiti is encrypted. If we decipher it, we can see some hidden information. The surveillance camera captured her face. Silver Wolf. It's exactly the same as the photo on the IPC's wanted list. Let me see what she was up to. Is this a transmitter beacon? Oh, I see. She probably ran into the Antimatter Legion during the invasion, then used this beacon to teleport the enemy somewhere else. We accidentally activated the beacon again just now, and they were brought back. Jeez, Stellaron hunters have the ability to stow enemies away like that? Beacon transmission that doesn't require a power source and can be implemented solely through computation? No wonder they were able to break into the space station. With this, I'm afraid not even Madame Herta's office is safe. I don't share your optimism. If it wasn't for you, I'd probably be lying on the ground right now. Anyway, let's work together. Can you let me have some fun this time? Our last few operations turned out to be pretty dull. The graffiti's location is quite... interesting. It feels like she's playing a game with us. One dot leads to another. I heard from a friend that the hackers on Punk Lord have a tradition. When they hack, they purposely leave something behind for people to discover. Kind of like throwing down the gauntlet. They call this the Punk Lord mentality. There can only be competition when there is rivalry. And there can only be excitement when there is competition. Life's a game and having fun is what's most important. Your fake ID info is ready. Ah, so that's what happened. She sneaked in first, then helped her partner in through the main door. It's a classic hacking operation. Huh? Is this section of the record damaged? She went through the wall and disappeared. That's highly unlikely. But if it's true, everything we've seen till now could be a fake. Hold on, I got it! It might be an effect from Mercurio! There was a pre-established folded space here, and the intruders found it and took advantage of it! No wonder she kept going through the Curio Collection Index. This space is connected to the Stellaron room. Do you still remember it? That's where they put the Stellaron inside you! Huh? What are you muttering about? Hmm... Why would they leave you here if their objective was the Stellaron? With her capabilities, all she would have needed to do was make another beacon. She would have been able to escape with the Stellaron, no problem. I just remembered that Madame Herta has a game cartridge named Punk Lord Mentality in her collection. You remember it, right? It's actually on the list of missing curios. I wasn't able to put the two together before. If the hacker has a personal objective other than the Stellaron Hunter's mission... I, I got it! I got it now! The Stellaron Hunter's operation was just a cover for her! That's right! 
She was so interested in the Curio Collection Index that she stayed in the space station even after her mission was complete. This was what she was truly after. She knew we would be looking for the Celeron Hunters and used it as her cover. Very smart. To be expected of someone from Punk Lord. Hmm. Search. Bonfire in the depths of the woods. A lone stone sword points to the stars. Punk Lord mentality. That is no ordinary curio, my friend. That is a love letter a Galaxy Ranger has written for the universe. Young madam, how much do you know about Punk Lord? It is a planet made of data and symbols. The edges of reality and illusion are blurred in Punk Lord, as are its days and nights. An ether cartridge is a chip that Punk Lordian hackers use to edit reality. The ways through which a hacker perceives and modifies the world are recorded on the chip. It's a recording of the hacker's life and proof of their existence. The one on the space station belonged to someone truly legendary. He became a galaxy ranger by accident and spent many long years traveling among the stars. He encountered countless fascinating individuals and saw wonders witnessed by few. Many of the records and details recorded therein are beyond the knowledge of even the IPC and the Intelligentsia Guild. That is why it became part of the masses of calculation data for the simulated universe. Yes, no need to worry, my friend. The cartridge has never left the space station. It's, as I said, it is a very important reference for the simulated universe. That is why its data has been extracted and added to the calculations of the universe model. Herta was probably impulsive and added the cartridge into the simulation without telling anyone, resulting in the item being listed as lost. I understand your concern. If the individual in question did indeed try to hack into Herta's office, then the simulated universe is undoubtedly her next target. As such, Please allow me to offer my limited abilities to assist you with your investigation, madam. As you already know, the simulated universe will be shut down temporarily. It will remain shut until Herta and I come to a clear conclusion. Yes, this is the last chance to investigate the cartridge data. By way of apology for shutting down the simulated universe, I will use my abilities in the universe to provide you with what assistance I can. This is my recommendation. Please take your time to consider it. You are now inside the data link of the ether cartridge. Look around and tell me what you discover. Hacker? Oh, conclusion. That is a holographic record that the simulated universe has created. In here, regardless of how large or small, all variables are saved, including outsider traces. You were right. The enemy's invasion has spread to the deepest parts of the simulated universe. They were only a hair away from the ether cartridge's data link. What we are seeing are the projections of what happened in those moments. Young madam, please stay still. Allow me to see what I can do with this record. Hey, you. Why are you staring at me? I initiated the simulation flow. This is just a record of the past. She is not actually talking to you. Please listen and don't interrupt her. We may be able to find out more of what we need to know. First off, I'm not obsessed with it. On Punk Lord, the stories of the cartridge are no different from textbooks. I'm not interested in something that everybody already knows about. Secondly, it's not some kind of video game cartridge. It's an ether cartridge. It's the second pair of eyes, second brain, and second heart of the hacker. Do you understand what that actually means? With that cartridge, if a guy went to a movie premiere and bought some mixed popcorn, you'd be able to know the flavor of the fourth kernel he picked out of the bucket. It's truly amazing. Lastly, I'm gonna say it again. I'm not obsessed with it. The reason I'm still rambling about it is to make sure that you know how amazing it really is. Do you get it now, Kafka? All right, let's get going. We have to move quickly. 
This place is different from the rest of the space station. We're on genius society turf. It is safe to assume that two people entered the simulated universe. Her and her companion. Interesting. Let's see what happened next. You are now taking the point of view of the companion. She will react to your behavior now. Fork in the road, huh? I got this. Wanna pick one first? Give your beloved instincts a try. It's a nice thing to have a companion who likes to talk, isn't it? Hmm. Wrong choice. The correct answer is the path on the right. Hmm. Not what we're looking for. It's a bait signal. Ugh. Why would Herta put something like this inside the simulated universe? Doesn't she find it annoying when she has to find something herself? Never mind, I miscalculated. Let's try another sector. She's actually on the correct path. She just needs to continue a little further. I trust that she too will realize this soon. We've met only once. Stellaron Hunter, Silver Wolf. We fought against one another before. Herta was there as well. She may have mentioned it to you. From my point of view, it wasn't a victory. It was more like a test than a duel. She would attack, and I would defend. Neither of us gave it our all. She wasn't able to break through my defenses, and I wasn't able to stop her from leaving. I never thought our next meeting would take place under these circumstances. I believe the continuation of our last encounter will soon arrive. What the? This was the right way all along. Ugh, Herta's got some psychological tactics going on. Seems like we can now continue forward. Oh, back to the space station again. <gasps> A riddle? W where's the skip button? Eesh. A little narcissistic, isn't she? The whole space station is filled with her face. Portraits, statues, even projections of herself. I was planning on adding a mustache for her, but the spray didn't work. The entire space station feels like it's made of paper, but her portrait is near indestructible. <laughs> She's talking about that portrait in the elevator room, no? Herta commissioned me to design an encryption tool for her. Seems she ended up using it on her portrait. That's correct. The ether cartridge data is in the next room. Our pursuit is coming to an end. Yes, that incongruous feeling has persisted throughout this long pursuit. She came for the Stellaron, but showed a strong interest in the Curios. And just as we found out about the existence of the ether cartridge, she just so happened to show up in the simulated universe. I must admit, this feels less like a chase, and more like a chance encounter. I recall a story about Punk Lord. It is said that graffiti is a special kind of symbol there. Hackers see reality as a magnificent game, an attempt to finish the stage we know as life. Whether it be for competition or for joy, they leave a trail in the places they visit. One symbol after another link up to become a long, long journey that writes the game of life. And would this ongoing affair not be part of such an endeavor? Perhaps this is all nothing more than a game she's decided to play with us. In which case, let us accompany her till the end. Look, we found it. The ether cartridge is here, and it's perfectly intact. There is an unwelcome third party here with us. If what we are seeing constitutes past images of Silver Wolf, then for her to have made it this far would have entailed the disappearance of the cartridge. We can only assume that the facts don't align with the theory. I believe that she was indeed able to hack into Herta's office, but she didn't stay there for very long. After all, even the best hacker wouldn't be able to find a specified target in the vast ocean of the simulated universe's data. Unless... Unless she had someone to guide her there. 
<laughs> you want to explain it to her first? I can see the confusion in her eyes. The final results are on the display table, young madam. Take a closer look if you wish. We have plenty of time left. I will answer any questions that you may have. You've guessed correctly. The person that stands before you is tonight's starring role. She left herself a back door in the office, performed a proxy hack the moment you entered the simulated universe, and found a way to continue alongside us. I must say, she really is a masterful actor. Misdirection is always the most effective method. The graffiti is like a two-way data tunnel. You can use it to retrace the trail she leaves behind, and she can monitor your progress by seeing which pieces of graffiti have disappeared. I fear she may well have had the whole thing planned out before hacking the space station. The graffiti and the back door were all in aid of honing in on just the right moment. I'm sorry. Herta forbade me from disclosing any information beforehand. She made clear that knowledge would not be paramount to this operation, but rather the lack of it. However, the way I see it, the most important elements were dedication and sincerity. The actions of Mr. Leonard drew the target right in. Well then, were you satisfied with this simulated universe journey, Miss Silver Wolf? you were spouting along the way was meant for me, wasn't it? It is a joy and an honor to have the opportunity to face off against you once again. Herta said that this cartridge would be able to lure in the biggest fishes in the universe. She was right. So, the business about shutting down the universe and the argument with Herta was all just an act? You did all that to lure me in? That is up to you to interpret. Herta and I have always been frank with one another. Sharp conversations of that nature happen on a regular basis. It wouldn't be fitting to call it an act. Hmm. Miss Silverwolf is truly a talented hacker. Not only did she calculate everything ahead of time, she has numerous variables and aces still to play. News of my sudden visit to the space station was probably the only uncontrollable variable in her plan. And with my arrival came the nightmare of shutting down the simulated universe. That would have ruined her plans and all her preparations. You now know everything about this encounter. Everything? No, no. You're wrong about the most important part. You think I came here out of desperation but I've been bursting with excitement this whole time. Do you know how happy I was when you showed up, Screwlum? I haven't had the thrill of a formidable opponent in such a long time. The Legion is nothing but a bunch of cavemen, and the IPC were a disappointment. Only the society has the talent to provide me with a fun challenge. Reality is nothing but a game. But what's the point of a game if it can't make you happy? An invitation letter and a challenge letter were sent to me from two geniuses. How could I not accept them? Would you have turned them down? You're confident you'll be able to get out of this in one piece. That's right. And I'm bringing this with me. You completed it while we were talking just now. Why else would I entertain so much small talk? You're not the only one stalling for time. I'm guessing that Herta is hiding in a corner somewhere, trying to pull off a reverse hack from where I hacked in. You, on the other hand, are responsible for taking me head on, just as you did last time. And I'm looking forward to it. How do you plan on stopping me this time? Are you going to turn the simulated universe into a black box? Or are you going to work with the IPC and put together a cross-galactic encirclement? Screwlem, will I be able to see your true strength this time? 
the long-awaited result will finally be determined. There will only be one victor today. Please, let me have some fun this time, okay? My apologies, Miss Silverwolf, but none of what you are hoping for will be happening today. You may leave now. Huh? Leave? But why? Aren't you trying to catch me? Don't you want to cuff me and exile me on some distant planet? Your creativity has proven interesting. However, I have nothing to do with your quarrel with the space station. Ergo, I won't stop you. I'm gonna leave with this cartridge, then. That's just a duplicate. Correction, not only is the one in your possession a duplicate, but so is the one here. The real curio was transferred elsewhere at the very beginning. Conclusion, you may share that data freely. What if I attack the space station again? It would have nothing to do with me. But I must warn you, it is likely that someone would step forward to stop you. Then, what if I were to destroy the simulated universe right now? I'm sorry, but that simply isn't possible. Ether editing isn't capable of destroying an entire universe. What is the point of this, then? You guys went out of your way to put together this trap, but don't plan on doing anything at all? That's right. This way, the game that you so carefully orchestrated is now pointless, is it not? There's no point in a game if it's no longer fun. Silver Wolf, I know what you're after. The IPC's shackles won't be able to hold you, and jail is but another game to you. Herta and I came to an understanding. We will no longer enable you and give you what you need. <laughs> How boring. However, Herta felt that this would be too easy on you, and wanted to add something of her own. And that is why, in this very moment, she has reverse-hacked you and located all your inter-astral network accounts. A total of 76 accounts. A very impressive number. How would it be if the IPC were to freeze all of them? Including all of your game records. What? Hey, hold on a minute. And she logged out. How hasty of her. <sighs> Games are always fun in the eyes of a child. But to an adult, they are but one among many ways of solving a problem. It's about time we were on our way. <laughs> a flawless victory! Hope you got a glimpse of Herta's awesomeness, kiddo. Hmm, naturally. I couldn't care less about what happened with the space station, but I will surely repay the favor tenfold to anyone who dares to taunt me. I already notified someone at the IPC to freeze all her accounts. <laughs> She's probably crying in front of her computer right now. <laughs> Thank you, young madam. Your and Mr. Leonard's contributions were a necessity to our victory. Do you have any other questions regarding this incident? Her ultimate goal was always the ether cartridge, but she developed an alternative objective in challenging Herta and me in the process. All those complicated puzzles and unnecessary ploys. Nothing more than games, I'll wager. If you are referring to the back doors Silver Wolf left behind, we have cleared out all of them, except for the one in the office. Don't worry. The space station is not as fragile as you think. Whether it's cosmic warfare or the incident that just took place, they're all within Herta's grand plan. This chapter has come to a conclusion. Come, let us close the final back door. left nothing behind. They went too far this time. Too far! All right, all right. Stop with the tantrum. You're not a kid anymore. I am not throwing a tantrum. Uh-huh. Anyway, what are you gonna do now, huh? Hack an IPC branch nearby and get your accounts back? Ugh. <sighs> if it were just one or two accounts, sure. I kind of overdid it this time. I lost basically everything. A branch office probably won't be enough. 
I'm gonna have to make a trip to Pure Point. What, you're going alone? That's the IPC's headquarters. Yep, just me. Why? Do you want to come with? I probably won't be able to. I'm in Elio's next script. Did you forget? Alright. That story doesn't sound like it fits me. You guys have fun. I hope you have a good time in Pierpoint as well. Don't worry. I've already got an idea. You see that cloud diner just two kilometers from here? A few temps from the building material logistics department just stepped in. I'm gonna go and become their friend. Getting a move on already? I would have thought you'd at least want to spend some time with that cartridge you were obsessing about. I told you. I'm not obsessed with it. Besides, there's fun to be had along the way. A game is a game, and that's all there is to it. Who is that? Ching. Yes, General. Watch this person carefully. <gasps> Do you remember me? I remember. Of five people, three must pay a price. <laughs> you are not one of them, Jin Yuan. for interrupting your little get-together, but I'm sure once you've heard my request, you'll forgive me. I'd like you to make a... destination alteration. I've seen your face before, Stellaron Hunter. Even if it was only on a Corporation Wanted poster. They were offering quite the bounty. Dead or alive. Do you know the figure? Doesn't concern me. Then again, a corporation bounty is a compliment, not an insult, don't you think? The higher the figure, the bigger the compliment. You wanted criminals sure know how to look on the bright side of things. I will say, Herta certainly paid you all a compliment. A maniac that claims he can see destiny, leading a bunch of wild lunatics in pursuit of the most dangerous objects in the universe. And Herta doesn't give out compliments very often. In pursuit of the most dangerous objects in the universe, huh? Well, in that sense, you... Astral Expressors and I are cut from the same cloth. You're in the wrong place, Kafka. We're not about to accept your request, and we're not about to get into bed with a Stellaron Hunter. It was nice talking with you. Perhaps next time you'll be willing to pay us a visit in person and we can continue our little discussion. Have you guys heard of the Law Fu? The Xianzhou Law Fu? It belongs to the Hexa fleet of the Xianzhou Alliance. We've heard of it. Hmm. But what you haven't heard is that it's currently very close to you. 
A couple of warp jumps away, in fact. Not to mention, 45 system hours ago, a Stellaron burst occurred on the Lafu. An unexpected calamity, don't you think? What exactly are you Stellaron hunters trying to do? The Cienjo Alliance aren't us. They won't give you time to explain. Once you draw the attention of the hunt, you become their prey. The Alliance will hunt you to the end of the universe. Stop speaking in riddles, Kafka. Say what you have to say. It's simple. That Stellaron has nothing to do with us, but the Sienjo is convinced that we're responsible. My companion, Blade, has been taken away by the Cloud Knights. I want to bring him back, resolve this Stellaron crisis, and clear our names. Nothing to do with you? Yeah, right. Sounds like a weird coincidence to me. You just happened to show up after the Stellaron burst? Also, we're not your friends. Why should we care if a Stellaron hunter is innocent, hmm? No! Why are we listening to her? The Alliance is strong. Is a single Stellaron burst really too much for them to handle? We're the crew of the Astral Express, not some squad of Stellaron stealing super specialists. You could, of course, not get involved. Knowing that the Stellaron hasn't yet affected this region of space, you could make the jump and arrive at the next world. But sooner or later, the Star Rail here will be more blocked off than it was before. I can tell you what the future holds. If you don't go to the Lawfu, the Stellaron will eventually contaminate the entire ship, and over half of the inhabitants will perish. Oh, you brave and fearless trailblazers, you benevolent nameless. Can you really remain indifferent to that? This companion of yours, Blade, he perished too, right? No comment. Here are the coordinates. It's up to you how to proceed. Our destinations may differ, but the orbits of the stars will eventually converge. See you later. <sighs> March, get done hung. Ah, uh, a matter that requires capable people such as yourselves. We captured a member of the Stellaron Hunters a few days ago who goes by the name of Blade. During our investigation, the Divination Commission, the department in charge of intelligence processing, intercepted a transmission sent out by his accomplice, Kafka, who has managed to hide aboard the ship. As for where that transmission was destined, I have some knowledge of your relationship with the Stellaron Hunters. The Divination Commission is convinced that you made an alliance with them. <laughs> I say that's impossible. The crew of the Astral Express are honorable people whose valiant deeds are lauded across the universe. There must have been a misunderstanding. As such, I came to the conclusion that the communication must have been an attempt by the Stellaron Hunters to sow dissent between us. We can handle the Stellaron, but it will take time, and will require the bulk of the Cloud Knights on the ship. It is this Kafka that concerns me. The longer she stays on the ship, the bigger the threat she will pose. Since the Stellaron Hunters lured you to our ship, we shall move with the current. You are hereby authorized to do as you deem fit on the Lofu with the goal of bringing Kafka out of the shadows and under our control. Doing so would clear the misunderstanding between us, reveal the true intentions of the Stellaron Hunters, and help us understand their connection to the Stellaron Burst. What say you, my astral guest? Hmm. What do you think? If you are able to capture this Stellaron Hunter, the Sien Zhou will be indebted to you. 
but the food never fails to reward that which is given. Okay. Wonderful. It's a deal, then. I shall notify Yu Kong that all intel is to be shared with you, and that our best personnel are to aid you in your search. If there is anything the Skyframe Commission or the Cloud Knights can do for you during your stay, don't hesitate to make it known. Master Diviner, you heard our discussion. What do you make of it? What do I make of it? The way of heaven is apparent, but the heart of humanity is often deceptive. Are you asking me to divine their true intentions? That won't be necessary. The crew has nothing to do with the incident. Of that, I am almost certain. It isn't their intentions that trouble me. All I want is for them to lure out the one we're after. Wasn't that my idea, General? Indeed. Your counsel has always been a great help to me. You may use your discretion on the matters ahead of us. Hm. Why don't you retire early and I use my discretion full time? <laughs> it is still too soon, unfortunately. If something goes wrong, you'll need a general to take the blame. How could I simply walk away and put you at such risk? If you'd brought me that blade earlier, none of this would have been necessary. Wait, what are you up to exactly? <gasps> Xin Yuan, did you... let him escape on purpose? Me? <laughs> I had no idea he might escape. Unlike you, my gaze never travels beyond the horizon. I take full responsibility. The Cloud Knights failed in their duty. I can understand. There's a lot to take care of on the Xianzhou. You are bound to miss something. Thank goodness I'm here. On that note, perhaps it's about time you finally nominate me as your successor when the Six Charioteers next convene. Yes, yes, yes. I have to go now. I'll leave this in your overwhelmingly capable hands, Fushin. <sighs> there are three things in the world that I can't seem to rid myself of. The troubles of the Siendro, the papers on my desk, and the weeds in my garden. General, Diviner Fu wants the General's position for herself. Everyone knows that. She is very capable. But her intellect is burdened by a quick temper. I'll retire when she's achieved a better balance. This Stellaron thing is easy. Blade escaped. Now we gotta go get him. Just say the word, and I'll solve this in a flash. I can understand your impatience. And I know you want to prove yourself. Now is not the time. If you truly wish to become sword champion, you shouldn't be running around brandishing your sword at people. Especially not a major criminal. You think I'd lose to Blade? I'm saying you need to have patience, Yanqing. Governing Xianzhou is different from a sword fight. The only way to build momentum is to work slowly. Besides, we still don't know who's really moving the chess pieces. There is something we must take care of before making our next move. As long as it remains unresolved, we're at a stalemate. That something is the Stellaron. How did it manage to bypass the Skyfaring Commission's inspections and the Divination Commission's predictions? Where is it now? I say we bring those two Stellaron hunters before Diviner Fu. She'll get an answer out of them in no time. I've asked our friends from the Express to take care of that for us. Worry not, you'll have your moment when the current stalemate is broken. You are my most trusted aid. And there are some things that I would only assign to you. Speaking of which, Yang Ching. <sighs> that boy. I suppose it is my fault. I should have given him an opportunity already. A sharp sword can't stay sheathed forever. <laughs> my fear is that this might prove too big a setback. Bigger than his exuberance. Seeing as Hellmaster Yu Kong was extremely reluctant to get us involved, am I right to speculate that the Skyfaring Commission has some leads on the whereabouts of Kafka? Exactly right. The suspect is extremely cunning. She encrypted her transmission and timed her communication. We couldn't pinpoint her exact location. But as cunning as she is, 
The Divination Commission has managed to find something. Here are the coordinates. It's up to you how to proceed. Our destinations may differ, but the orbits of the stars will eventually converge. See you later. Don't let her words distract you. That's the sound of a device. Uh, which means what exactly? This is a starship. There are all kinds of devices making weird noises. Miss March, to the untrained ear, these noises may sound the same. But for the craftsmen of the Artisanship Commission, every machine has a different pitch and melody. The General sent for craftsmen, and they concluded that the sound came from the shipyard facilities in Stargazer Navalia. Now, get some rest and prepare yourselves for the operation ahead. I look forward to seeing you in action. You've been standing here for half an hour. It's rare to see you like this. Are you... Worried about those two? Welt is with them. They should be fine. <sighs> Himiko, did you keep a copy of the Stellaron Hunter's transmission? Can I have a look? Sure. Not to mention, 45 system hours ago, a Stellaron burst occurred on the Lafu. An unexpected calamity, don't you think? <sighs> What exactly are you Stellaron Hunters trying to do? The Cienjo Alliance aren't us. They won't give you time to explain. Once you draw the attention of the hunt, you become their prey. The Alliance will hunt you to the end of the universe. Stop speaking in riddles, Kafka. Say what you have to say. <sighs> it's simple. That Stellaron has nothing to do with us, but the Cienjo is convinced that we're responsible. Stop! Do you know him? The Sancho is in danger. This man, he... If he's on the ship, then Welt March and her... Everyone is in grave danger. What? Is he... connected to that past you want to escape? I... I can't leave them down there. It's just... I'm afraid my burden has finally caught up with me. And that everyone is about to be drawn in. Is there anyone who doesn't carry around a past burden? She may not remember it, but even a girl as carefree as March has hers. We tread on a path that is hidden from us. The things we see and the trails we blaze all become our baggage. They weigh us down, but they also give us strength to continue the journey. Try not to dwell on it, Don Hung. The Express spends seven standard days at each stop. Its passengers are allowed to do as they deem fit during that time. Pom Pom and I are more than capable of looking after the Express. If there's something you've got to do, do it now. Better than regretting it further down the line. And you'll come back and travel with us once this is all over, right? The scent! Where did it go? Oh, when the trace of the hunter disappears, the hunter better think twice. It might mean the tables have turned. Kafka! These Cloud Knights aren't Mara struck. What did you do to them? Just a little persuasion to get them to listen to me. But you know all about that already, don't you? What a hassle. 
This place is too far for the Diviner. See you up ahead. <laughs> so close and yet so far. You'll have to pick up the pace. We need to think of a way to cut her off! Don't worry about locked doors, benefactors. We can use the conveyor belts! Welcome, Astral Expressors. Looks like you caught me. <laughs> Admit it, Kafka. You planned for us to come here. Well, I didn't plan anything. It was the future. We interfere on countless future possibilities and make the best future a reality. You speak too highly of us, Welt. The Stellaron Hunters are merely Destiny's slaves. <laughs> best future? Best for who? As if you'd consider anyone but yourself. If I said best for the universe, would you believe me? <laughs> best for me, naturally. We're taking you to see the General of the Law Fool. You can profess your innocence all you like, but the General will decide your fate. Oh, thanks. But no thanks. I can't stand moving at someone else's pace. But we don't have much time. If I were you, I'd make a move before it's too late. <laughs> <laughs> Finally. Rudimentary. Your every move has been foreseen by the Omnisia. Fushuen, Divination Commission. I'll be taking the criminal from here. Is this really necessary? I said I'd cooperate with you. I have no interest in the words of wanted criminals, especially those skilled in the art of manipulation. So, say what you will. I'm here to witness the divination of the Matrix of Prescience. The Divination Commission has ways of extracting the truth, and they're far more effective than a conversation. Then please, Master Diviner, witness my destiny. Not be wrong. Kafka has nothing to do with Estelaron, but you. It's you. Ha! Absurd. I'd never have thought it. Ask her yourself. Take as long as you wish. I must report this to the General immediately. Please excuse me. You go ask her. I know you still have many questions for Kafka yourself. Hi. <sighs> you haven't changed a bit. I'm sorry you have to see me in such a sorry state. Hmm. 
concerned about me? <laughs> I'm fine. The Sienjo is always courteous with its captives. I didn't talk to you on the train because I knew you and I would get to talk alone here. Worth waiting for, don't you think? You seem to have a lot to ask me. Elio said he foresaw three questions, but they would be the same in essence. If I were to hear one of them, I would then tell you the objective of this trip in all its detail. Since you asked one of the three questions, it means everything is going smoothly. Are you ready to hear my answer? Sienjo's Stellaron problem is not directly linked to us. But if you look at it from Elio's perspective, you can't say the Stellaron hunters are completely innocent. We foresaw all this long ago, but chose to remain indifferent until the time was right for us to get involved. Diviner Fu was surprised because she discovered three truths. One. The Stellaron Hunters are not enemies of the Sienjo. You know this now, though you refuse to believe it. Two, someone else brought the Stellaron into the Sienjo and activated it. A result of both internal unrest and external aggression. Traitors on the Lafu and enemies from outside want to overthrow the Sienjo. The Master Diviner is in a hurry to find the general, presumably to inform him of this fact. However, that's all the Master Diviner knows, because Elio withheld key pieces of information from me. He foresaw the Divination Commission using the Matrix of Prescience against me. To guard against setbacks, he ensured that I knew only what he wanted the Sienjo Alliance to know in this moment. As for number three, even in their wildest dreams, the Sienjo Alliance could never have guessed it. <laughs> if the Stellaron Hunters aren't the cause of all this, then why are Blady and I even here? We're here for you. Sounds ridiculous, doesn't it? It's no wonder Fu Shen doesn't believe it either. But the Matrix of Prescience doesn't lie. The answer is just that bizarre. The Stellaron Hunters appearing here, Blady getting arrested, me being lured to the Matrix of Prescience. It was all to bring you, the Astral Express crew, to the Sienjo. In the future that Elio chose, the power of the hunt is indispensable. And that's why the Astral Express crew had to come to the La Fu and achieve something important for the Sienjo. You had to establish a connection with the Alliance. And that's why I had to trick you into coming here. I needed you to meet the Lafu's general in person and to help him resolve the Stellaron crisis. I needed the Alliance to owe you a favor. That way, in the future, at the most critical moment, the Sienjo will offer you their help. What do you think? Surprised? The notorious Stellaron Hunters did all that just to make you a hero of the Sienjo? <laughs> Quite the plot twist, don't you think? <sighs> like I said, Elio withheld key pieces of information from me. The future holds endless possibilities, and knowing the right thing at the wrong time could spoil all our hard work. There is only one thing I can tell you about the future. In the best and the worst cases, you will eventually have to face Nanook the Destruction. And when that time comes, 
You will need all the help you can get. It will be a brutal struggle of Ionic proportions. Proportions that neither you, nor I, nor the Astral Express will ever be able to reach. In the vast majority of futures, that's when destiny ends. But, if we follow Elio's plan, there may be a glimmer of hope on the horizon. You know, even eons can be killed. You know, even eons can be killed. Is it so unthinkable? There are many stories about fallen eons. Lon the Permanence, Drilla the Beauty, Anna the Order, Tazeron the Propagation, Akivili the Trailblaze. These names were once known all over the universe. Now they've all but disappeared, leaving behind only masterless paths. And currently, there are three ways an eon can perish known to humanity. One, paths with overlapping concepts will eventually collide, and the broader path will engulf the narrower one. That's how Enna the Order was assimilated by Shipe the Harmony. Two, in a war between eons, the stronger side will annihilate the weaker one. That's how Tazeronth the Propagation fell. Under the guidance of the hunt, the Sienjo Alliance travels the universe exterminating abominations cultivated by the abundance. So, the Sienjo too are engaged in this process. As far as I know, the predecessors of the Alliance were the Elixir Seekers. They searched for Yaosher and longed for the blessing of immortality. When they eventually found the Aeon, they received the blessing that did indeed prevent death, the Ambrosial Arbor. But immortality turned out to be a curse for the Sienjo. That's when the hunt appeared, firing an arrow and felling the Ambrosial Arbor. Ever since, the Alliance has followed the hunt in pursuit of Yaosha, erasing the curse of immortality from the universe along the way. What do you think? Fascinating stories, no? <laughs> They're the kind of stories that folks on the straight and narrow would never tell you. Hold on. Any minute now. <laughs> it's begun. Hmm. Let's go, Blady. Two more places to visit. <laughs>